Hello, how's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw a crocodile head. Uh, just really fast. Crocodiles, uh, the reason I'm doing a crocodile head is because... Well, let me sharpen my pencil real quick. If you kind of look at uh, certain concept art and things like that, they're kind of based off a crocodile. You know what I mean? A lot of them. Crocodiles are basically like living dinosaurs. You know what I mean? Uh, really, uh, kind of amazing, amazing looking things. And uh, I kind of wanted to go over a few points on how to draw one. So we're just going to draw kind of the snout area. Obviously, he's got this really extremely pulled out snout. And, and draw it with a little bit open. You know, kind of like, and that's pretty easy, right? It's like a clamp. It's very easy. Uh, most, I would say, what is it? Most of the crocodile strength comes from uh, the closing, right? It has very, it's very weak, kind of opening it up. You know what I mean? It only kind of closes in one direction, so it clamps down. It can pretty much cut your arm off. But uh, it, uh, you know, opening, you know, it, it having to force itself open, it, that's why, you know, they, they can kind of just close it real easy. It doesn't have a lot of strength opening. So that's just like a small fun fact. Uh, when I see these things, I actually literally see these things. It literally looks like science fiction to me, you know? You're just like, oh, my God, this thing exists? Like... This powerful giant lizard exists like that's straight up like a dinosaur. <laughs> you know, it's like wow. Uh, so, right now I have a very broad thing. Hopefully, you can see this on camera too. Yeah, it's very broad, right? It's just like a flat thing. See how simple it is? It's just like a few rec like really long rectangles. You know, kind of this head shape over here. And for proportions. I don't even really want to tell you specific proportions because it's very easy, right? It's just, it's about that length. I could make it here, it might look correct. I could maybe shorten it a tiny bit, it'll still look correct, you know? Um, so I don't really have any specific portions. I will say this, toward the end there is a little bump, you know what I mean? And these things are not totally even, it's not just a straight flat. They're, and obviously it depends per, you know, crocodile. You know, but they do have this little beveled edge around here. They're not completely straight. Um, kind of straightening out the bottom portion right here. Jaw, back of the jaw. And kind of like again, very up the side, the kind of shape. Usually there's kind of like, I would put like a slight bevel, like not bevel, like doom, doom, like slight small bumps, but nothing crazy. Obviously there'll be a large bump around the eye area. You know, because it's got to encase it there. So right now I think I have enough for the head, honestly. And I'm probably going to like add some teeth. Uh, also there's, there is this little thin layer of skin, you know, toward the back of the mouth that op when it opens. You see that a lot on dinosaur uh, kind of drawings and things like that. I'm drawing teeth, and I'm drawing very nilly willy right now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get the placement of the teeth down. So I think I have everything for placement right now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in and try to like render it out a little bit. I'm gonna go into the eyeball. The eyes tend to be beady and small. You know what I mean? Kind of like they're almost like they're cut open. These things like that. Got, uh, I believe they have slit pupils for the most part. Mm -hmm. All right, kind of putting a little bit of, uh, Kind of the, what do you call that? The under kind of bags of the eyes here. Crocodile skin. And it's slightly kind of turning inward, right? I want to make this really look like it's pushed, like it's a ball of the eyes pushed into the skull, you know? And then um, putting a little bit right here with the side of my pencil. Kind of, I do that because there's this kind of this like sloping when it goes into the eye. And this is like with humans too, I do that. 
So I kind of throw a little bit of value right there with a the little side of my pencil. All right. And I'm going to do that with the side of the pencil stuff. I'm going to do that over here as well. Same thing, side of the pencil. Uh, kind of these indentions. Indent, indentions, I don't know. It's kind of like crevices around his body, you know. Right here, think about the forehead encased in there with the brain. Fixing the end of the snout over here. I do want to make it kind of a kind of a ball at the end, but I don't want to make it that much. I, I pulled it back slightly. I'm gonna find the nostril here. The nostrils toward the end, toward near the top. Putting in a darker line there. I'm going to start actually kind of going into the teeth here and really kind of solidifying them. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys I have a new announcement. I'm going to actually be selling every single drawing I have on this site. Uh, well, as of now, I believe, or most of them, you know, most of them. I'm going to throw the link up on the screen, hopefully right now. Yeah, click the link. Yeah, right on. <laughs> but I'm going to be selling pretty cheap, so check it out. Uh, I do want to, I'm trying to make, raise money here. Uh and, uh, you know, family, you know, there's some sicknesses. I don't know. I don't want to give you my sob story. So uh, there's just some some uh, some stuff going on in my family I, I need money for. You know, there's, there's issues, uh, health issues in my family. So we're trying to raise money. But, like, I don't uh, – see, I, I very – I say that very uh, – I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Anyways, um, let me go in here and continue out here. I want to kind of, like, make this shape – Stand up, but not too much like a ball, you know what I mean? But I'll make it like, he has to connect. Like, I want you to think about the simple shapes that make up this guy, but I do you have to kind of make it connect. Otherwise, it, it'd be too pieced up, you know? So you think that we kind of separated too much. And then uh, I do want to think about where the back of the mouth is. So if he's turning up slightly, if he's turning slightly toward us, like this way, let's say he's like a block. If you're turning slightly this way, he's going to have a little bit of the back showing over here. If he's that way, the top portion is going to show, you know. So it's kind of up to us, really, to kind of say what way is he slightly turning. But I'm going to make it like he's doing this. So this back portion of his mouth is going to show a little bit back there. All right. And then uh, I'm going to fill in this space back there, but I'm going to try to leave the teeth a little light. Probably would see a little light. And then, see how this stuff's kind of foggy down here? I do want to straighten it out a little bit. So I'm going to actually throw in a straight line. 
and hopefully it'll kind of contain that shape a little bit. See how that's kind of foggy? I throw a straight line. And it kind of seems like value, right? Underneath it. Or it gives you an idea of where to throw more value. Throw some darker shadow over here under the jaw, kind of like you would like a person. And then, um, gotta step back and try to look at it, analyze it a little bit real quick. What is I? What is it that I need? Um, probably gonna. So a little bit more darks here. And then uh kind of throw a little bit more value down here. And then I also want to throw in, see that? I'm throwing them with the side of my pencil mostly, kind of touching the tip toward the back. Let me see, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, but I'm doing this and I'm actually leaving the striation there on purpose. And I'm doing that because I want to make it seem like it's uh, scales or at least have the positioning ready for me to kind of like uh, manipulate it to look at, make it look more like scales. Alright, taking a look at it again. It's got like an armored back, so I'm gonna indicate that over there with that line, that hard line. And I go down with the side of the pencil again. Side tip, side tip. I just kinda go back and forth. Um that's really deep in the crevice of the mouth, so I might darken this up a little bit. And then, uh, all right, I'm kind of bolding in. I'm throwing like a thick line around the contour. And you know me from my other drawings that. That's what I like to do sometimes. I like to throw a thick line around the contour of the of everything. Except this isn't the contour right here. This is actually the front of that. Uh, if contour would be, I would put that back part. I would uh, really darken in the line on that back part. But I guess that part's that part is not the contour technically. Um, but it does come in front, you know. So I do kind of think of my normal training of you know like the line art that I do the line training the you know one two and three of lines I think I might have went over that before in this channel I hope I think I did yeah And then, uh, throwing in some dark right there. 
just kind of like slightly, you know, I want to make a kind of a, make it look like there's like changing of planes, you know what I mean? It's not just flat, you know. And I, I can, this, see this, this looks a little flat to me right now. So what I want to do is I want to throw in a little variation. And this actually applies with creature design too, because I think there's a good point where we're at right now. Um, this is an okay drawing. Uh, I could make it better by that, like... You can make it more detailed. See how this big white, right? So what would you do to that area? Um, break it up with, you know, because you can tell that crocodiles, when they do that, they have these kind of like, uh, kind of wrinkles on the side of their mouth where the teeth insert, you know? And try not to make them like totally even. Make them different lengths and, you know, thicknesses and stuff like that. Because if it looks too even, it'll look uh, too manufactured. Um, you try to make the, this is nature, you know what I mean? You want to make it look, you know, you know, make it look more natural, you know what I mean? There's kind of a lip on the side of the mouth. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going with like the slight side, but also a little bit on the tip. But I'm trying to be very gentle. You know, that's the big part. I'm trying to be very gentle. I'm not trying to put anything super dark in there. I might actually throw a little layer of uh, value over this entire thing. A little bit of value over this. Over here as well, maybe. Yeah, let me see how that works. Maybe lighter, lighter if anything. And then, uh, A little bit lighter. See, I'm trying to throw those little rivets right here, but I don't want them to look. See the rivets of the teeth? I'm going back the rivets. Kind of going like again with a tip, but the side, you know, tip it's super light. Because I want to build it up, you know? You're not trying to get it in one shot, you're trying to slowly build it up. Slowly build it up. You're taking everything into account how they how it relates to each other. I'm just playing with you. Yeah. Going over here. Uh, putting a very slight, you know, uh, what do you call it, scales. Putting a little bit more value in the bottom here, but again, you're slowly building everything up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I want my highest contrast to probably be around the eye. So I'm going to darken that up. Because I want that to be the general focal point. And then I think his neck is a little too light. So I'm going to go with the side of my pencil and go over it slightly. Kind of give it a slight value. Slightly, slightly, slightly. And then uh, I might actually go do something a little bit stylistic with the end of it here. I go over here and put a, a like slight, slight, slightly darker value so this guy comes forward.
I think you could, if you want, you can throw a slight value in there. That one's gonna be hard though, because oh, you know, I might leave it open like that. I kind of like the way that looks. You know, it gives it a very specific look. That kind of light, dark, light, 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 dark, light, light, dark, light. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you watching. I really, I really, really do. Uh, this channel's been like, God, it's been so. I don't know. This channel's been so. It's been so such a big deal in my life. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, it's really changed everything. So, I mean, because of this, I don't really have to get, like, a real job, per se. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, a very stressful 9-to-5 job. And, uh, you know, I get to actually do what I want to do. And uh, I, wa I just want to make more, you know? I mean, it's all... It's, I'm right there. I'm right there making this full-time almost, you know? Um, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you later. Oh.